Okay, I think that's enough Batman. I think we can jump into this. Waiting for it to get back to the main menu. And the game stopped working. Lovely. That's awesome. Start that back up, I guess. So, yeah, I know. Dangers of trying out a new game, I guess. So now I'm glad you have Batman to look at while I log in. I know. Well, yeah. We're going to start with Blade and Soul. And then we'll... I'm going to play this probably for about an hour. Unless I hate it. <laughs> and then... Uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to slide into some Fallout New Vegas. And play that for probably about an hour and a half. Oh, now it's running a file check. What the shit? They didn't do this a second ago. Hi, Alto. Hi, 2-Bit. How are you guys doing? It took me an hour to get this game set up to the point where I am now. And even now, it's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Fuck. If this, game keep, if this game crashes again, I'm done. I'm not going to hold up my stream trying to fight with a fucking game. I have 130 some odd games on my Steam to pick from. That I, I don't need to sit here and fight with this shit. You're amazing. How am I? Uh, stellar and awesome as always. Obviously. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm good. Thank you. I hope everybody here is good. This game is being a butt. <laughs> I don't approve. No, it's not modded. I've never played this before. I have no time put into this whatsoever. And as soon as the game starts, this is long ass loading time. As soon as it starts, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll turn it on. That is not happening. It's just a couple of anime dudes and a, a little swirly circle. That's all I got. And a little NC Soft gray box. And I know it's not the computer, because I got a baller computer. Thank you, Alto. I suppose at some point I should put up what my specs on this thing are. That's the thing the, the pros do. How can I be pro if I don't do that? Ugh. All right, I'm I'm thinking of just force killing this and just playing New Vegas, and try this another time maybe. All in favor, say aye. <laughs> Holy shit, this is taking forever. I believe you that the game works, but it's not working for me right now, which is kind of a problem when I'm trying to stream it. It's been 10 minutes, and all you guys have watched is Batman and then me yell at this game. This isn't good. <laughs> this is very much not great. I'm going to give it one more minute. I'm going to give it one more minute. And then I'm going to stop and restart the stream so I can delete this from my VOD. Then we will just go, excuse me, and then we will just go into New Vegas. If this thing doesn't work after a minute. 60 seconds on the clock, please. 
is not a feature that I have, but I wish I did. I will play this on stream. The first time I play it, I will stream it. That, that is a promise. I will do that, but it's not working very well tonight. This is just a train wreck right now. <laughs> what is happening? Like, I want to play this. I really do. You've been asking me for about a year to play this. And I'm a shitty friend. And like, yeah, yeah, I'll play it. Whatever, man. I'll play it. And now I go to play it. The game's like, no. I should have got some of that monster cat music to be playing in the background. Okay, that's been a minute. It's still not working. I am sorry. So. My apologies. I will play this another time. And now it won't even exit. Look, game. I'm going to either need you to work or go away. All right, these are your options. <laughs> Shit, I ain't having it. Oh, now it works. Now it loads. What in the goddamn is going on? Ah. Yes, I, uh, here, uh, boom. Yes, boom. No, no boom. Uh, here. Yes. You have laid in soul now? Oh, bro. Okay, boom, we got it. Can everybody see the game? Okay. This is... All right. We're going to create a new character. Allegedly. <laughs> I hit that fucking thing. Blade masters are balanced fighters who wield their swords with surgical precision. Their versatility allows them to both evade enemy attacks and cut down their foes with devastating accuracy. Okay. Uh. Assassins utilize agility, cunning, and unique stealth techniques to catch opponents off guard. Using traps and lightning fast attacks, disciplined assassins can eliminate their opponents before they have time to counter. Gunslingers use dual pistols and grappling hooks to unleash devastating combos and support their allies. Now, I believe the gunslinger is a new class. Am I understanding this correctly? Kung Fu masters are living, breathing weapons capable of destroying opponents with nothing but their own physical prowess and a pair of armored fists. These agile melee fighters specialize in counterattacks and grappling. Oh shit, we got a warlock. Warlocks <laughs> use charms and incantations to unleash a wide array of powerful attacks. They use a thrall and energy from the spirit realm to barrage enemies or strengthen allies. Well, I think I know what I'm playing. Soul Fighters combine the Kung Fu Master's close range ferocity and the Force Master's long range elemental attacks. By switching stances, these warriors can adapt their skills to any fight. Alto brings up a good point not to forget the other races. Uh, I won't. I just wanted to check out the classes first. Soul Fighters combine the Kung Fu no. Master's close range ferocity and the Force Master's long range elemental attacks. By switching stances, these warriors can adapt their skills to any fight. 
I don't need her to repeat that every time. I just wanted to check out the races. Harnessing their inner chi, Force Masters manipulate the elements to assault their enemies from afar, torching them with flames, freezing them with ice, and unleashing blasts of concentrated energy to keep them at a distance. Wait, that's the mail? That's the mail. Okay. Didn't I have been assuming gender. This thing. That's the lady. Harnessing their inner chi, Force Masters manipulate the elements to assault their enemies from afar, torching them with... Harnessing their inner chi, Force Masters manipulate the elements to assault their enemies from afar, torching them with flames, freezing them with ice, and unleashing blasts of concentrated energy to keep them at a distance. Okay. Um... They can't be warlocks. Harnessing their inner chi, Force Masters manipulate the elements to assault... Warlocks use charms and incantations to unleash a wide array of powerful attacks. They use a thrall and energy from the spirit realm to barrage enemies or strengthen allies. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Lin Warlock, I believe will be my combination. And... Oh, you gotta purchase a little 50 character. Now I'll go level one. Next. Um... That's uh she's gonna be <laughs> like mouse ears and she's a furry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I play Warcraft, I'm a big fan of the gnomes. I got a lot of gnome characters, so I like the short ones. I'm pretty tall in real life, so I like to rock the Ooh, I like that look. I like the uh the short characters. I played the Lollafells in Final Fantasy. Look <laughs> at oh my word. Um, I don't. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Look, all I'm saying is the developers obviously have a fetish. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not judging it. I'm, I'm not coming down on it. But it's. It's there. She's like a dog. A little puppy. I should be the dog and then I can be the baddest bitch. Oh, she looks so sad. They all look sad. What the hell, man? Smile. There was one I liked that I want to... No, I can't find it. Not that one. <laughs> No, it's one of the first ones, I think. Can't be that. It might have been that one, but she seems so much taller than the other ones. Or is that my imagination? Yeah, they're shorter. Okay, I'll be her, I guess. Face type. Skin tone. Um, I don't really notice that sort of thing. Um, I will go... Why can't I give her, like, green skin? <sighs> Make sure you go to face options and try randomize. Um, is this you giving me that bad advice, like you said? Is that what's happening? Yes, but it's hilarious. Okay, well, let's at least zoom in before we do it, right? Okay, so randomize. Oh. Ah, zoom out. And randomize. <laughs> randomize. It really is random eyes because the eyes change too. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Those eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, your ears don't match. Okay. I do. 
Undo, 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 undo. There we go. I like that one. Uh, yeah, we like that one. It looks like, from a distance, it looks like earrings. Okay. Um, no. Nope. Maybe. I should wear my hair like that. I think if I, I think that's, I think that's the one I want. But I want to see the other ones. I don't know, I like that one too. I like the long hair on my lady characters. I really like that one too. Oh, it's a hard one. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, number one, number two. Number one, number two. Number one, number two. Number two, number one. I can't decide, I like them both. think Korea has problems. You know, nope, I don't. I think that they just, they know what they like. And they know how to express themselves. So I, I applaud them for that. Good for them. All right, you guys aren't saying anything. Um, I'm going with this one. Put number one. You know, I kind of wanted a purple, but I like that orange. Kind of wanted something like that. Um, that one. That's the winner right there. Ears and tail. I like that one. I think that's perfect. You are going to have to try real hard to find me one better than that, in my opinion, for this character. Oh, okay. Stand corrected. You tried real hard. I've never had to pick out ears and tail for a character before. This is This is new territory for me, guys. I think this one, it's our winner right there. I love it. Um, body type. Right? Look, when I play a short class, I like to go short. So, <laughs> I like. We're going to go with this one. Next. It never gave me a chance to name her. Okay, so. Since I'm stars, but this is a lady, we're, we'll give her like a, a, lady, a ladyfied version of my name. That's not a real thing, and I apologize. Uh, Starzina. Perfect. Nailed it. Confirm. More options that I skipped. What are, name already taken. Well, can I go back and check the options out that I missed? Oh, you're right. Like facial marks. He's, yeah, see? Right there. Wow. At least I can zoom in on her eyes. <laughs> oh god. It's 
even I oh oh perfect. You could use last names. What the hell would Star Zena's last name be? No eyebrows for you. I am I alone or do I, I just don't give a shit about eyelashes? There we go. Cosmetics. I don't even see what's changing. Her hair is covering whatever is changing. Her eyeliner. <laughs> you think you think she's creepy without the eyebrows? I did not realize that my audience had opinions on eyebrows. <laughs> nope. Um, I don't give a fuck about eyebrows. I don't. Okay, is that better? I'm going to presume that's better. I, I kept her eyelashes. What do you want from me? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about her makeup. <laughs> that okay that, come on that's creepy as fuck right there that is not the ears and tail I picked out for you young lady where's the ears and tail that I picked excuse me hi ears and tails here yeah that's the one I picked Now, back to her creepy ass face. Um, nope. Again, her hair is covering up most of these. That's a little too much like um, my character in Final Fantasy. She has the heart uh, thing on her. Well, I think we got to go with the star, obviously. I mean, obviously. I'm not going to mess with the eyebrow and nose position. Already this game cares more. Holy shit with these. No. I am not sitting here and messing with my body like this. This game cares more about my character than I do. Wow. Okay. <sighs> now, if, now try randomize. Like, you see how hard I just worked on building my character? Now you want me to randomize and undo this shit? What's wrong with you? You're a masochist. undo okay I will hit randomize five times and then I'm going to absolutely get started playing this game um, this has been character creator simulator 2017 uh, I hope you've enjoyed it okay I'm going to hit this five times and we'll all have a laugh and then I'm going to undo and we're going to get going okay here we go Number one. <laughs> oh, torso is not what I was supposed to randomize. Wait, where am I supposed? Where do you want me? Where do you want me to randomize? Ooh. Check out the different backgrounds. You're the winner.
There you go. Oh, you pick what kind of voice they have. Small but mighty. This is only the beginning! No! Taya! Well. You're already dead. You just don't know it yet. There's a whole world to explore! Hoo-ya! Hoo-ya. For justice and for vengeance! I like it. I dig it. Champions roar. One of us isn't leaving here alive. Probably not. Um, Warriors pride. No one will stand against me. I like ceaseless spirit. You're already dead. You just don't know it yet. Don't want that one. Perfect. Facial features, it says. Okay. So we're going to hit randomize. Excuse me, Latinus. Could you turn? Thank you. Now we're going to hit uh, randomize a couple of times. Uh, five times. And then I'm going to undo five times. And we're going to get going. Here we go. Number one. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Oh, I hit it twice. Whatever, that's still four. Five. Uh, I feel a generous six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no, now we're back where we were. So now I need that star to come back. There we go. Okay, there. Now I think that she's back as she was. And yes, you did tell me it was good. Okay. Um, okay. And we're all done here. Next. Or Zena with a Y. Confirm. There we go. Star Zena. I am the mighty Star Zena. Elin Warlock. Okay. And there's a bunch of stuff going on in the star, as you can see. Uh, star. star game. I've been live for 35 minutes and we're just now starting the game. <laughs> that creation process was a pain. So we're going to play this for a little while. And then we're going to switch over to uh, New Vegas. I did well. Thank you. I've made a lot of RPG characters over the years. I'm a pro. I'm a pro RPG hero. <laughs> Fully licensed to go into people's homes and break their valuables, steal their heirlooms, all in the name of stopping evil.
now I have turned off the music on the game um, because I do want to put this on my YouTube and also while we're streaming it because uh, I don't want to run into any kind of uh, copyright problems. See, normally we would probably have music here. Why is there no sound effects? Maybe this is all music and you can't hear anything now. Just make up some dramatic music in your head. And then that's what this sounds like. Illustrator. Looks like him. Are they putting the oh they're putting the credits on the boat? What is happening? <laughs> this is weird. So this poor bastard needs to get the hell out of the storm. That light's gonna get him. Oof. Maybe I should get into some monster cat. God. I gotta put my fan on. It's getting hot in here. If it starts interfering with the microphone, or if you if it's a problem in the background, just let me know. I'll try to adjust. But I'm like sweating to death here. Why? No, I should be able to hear that. Hey, it's me. I just washed up. Oh my god, I'm Jason Bourne. I kind of want to hit escape to change the settings, but it would skip it. Man, what smells like warlock tail? <laughs> hey, can can you hear me? Hey, hey. Sounds like me trying to set up a stream. Heaven's Reach, one day ago. This entire game takes place over the course of one day. Yeah, I should be able to hear all of this. I'm not even that tall. What the hell? Another loading screen? Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. You're still in bed? That's not like you. Hurry and get dressed. Master Hong has called a meeting. I, uh, I, where's my, uh, yeah, where's my uniform? Why are you asking me? You need to get moving. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to get your uniform. You come You should be ready for oh. morning training, Cricket. Are you still asleep? Come on, rise and shine. Um, my name is Starzina. Okay, um... I think your uniform is the one on the dresser. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to go get it. Remember, you can hold the Alt key to use the cursor. Wait, I can't walk with my mouse? I'm used to walking with my mouse. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, okay. Wait, how do, uh, I wanted to dance. Can I dance? Uh, 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 uh. Press the F key to pick up your uniform. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, 2-bit. Sorry it took so long for the game to actually start, but thanks for hanging out, buddy. Enjoy your foods. Open your inventory, press the I key, and equip the uniform. Okay. How am I ever supposed to remember the inventory is the I key? See you, 2-bit. I try to stream every day if I can. And I'll be on with the everybody's tomorrow to enforce Friday. Let's go make sure Gilhong is up. He's always the last out of bed. 
Okay. Cricket, hello? You're still not awake? Well, if you missed some of what I said, click J to open your quest journal. Look, you're breaking the game here, okay? You can't be part of the game and tell me to open my quest journal and use the WASD keys, okay? It's, let, let the game handle that. <laughs> you're, you're breaking the illusion here. Hey, asshole. Hi. I can't get on his bed. Good morning, Cricket. I was having the best dream. I don't care about your dream. Fuck your dream. The sun's up and so am I. We should spar again today, Cricket. I almost had you yesterday. No, you didn't. Wait, I don't want to say you did really well. I want to tell him he sucked. You couldn't have gone and woken him up while I was getting dressed. You made me get dressed in front of you. That's like super weird. Uh. Alright, here we go. We're doing the thing. I'm excited to do the thing. Overslept cricket. I won't have any students slacking on my watch. Look, asshole. Master has called a meeting outside his quarters. Lu Song's off somewhere, and I want you and Jin Yong to find him. The meeting starts in a few minutes, so hurry. So we're gonna go. What? So your precious meeting. Okay, uh. Let's shift key holding the W. Oh, what? Open the map. Yeah. Press WW or press the shift while holding W key to sprint towards the overlook. Uh. I don't know where the overlook is. Going. Oh. Well, can I ride one of you? Or we'll climb down up? <laughs> I'm like Sonic. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, every time there's cutscenes now, there's no. Anything because I turned the music off. Um, but the speech should be there. All right, look, the next motherfucker that calls me cricket is is getting punched in the testicles. I don't give a fuck. It's probably just one track, like the music and the speech is one track. I want to turn off the background music, it muted this. The bird that greets the rising sun is the first to eat its fill. It means those who train hard will be rewarded. That's not what that means. Your day will come, Cricket. I'm hopeful that mine will come soon. No. Should we go to the duel hall? No. Look, the early bird gets the worm does not mean those who train hard will be rewarded. That's, that's not exactly what the fuck that means. You're spouting nonsense and you think you're teaching me things. What? 
Press the space key while sprinting to move. Okay. Uh. Ducky. I did it. Hello, Mr. Hong. You definitely don't look like a caricature we've seen a million times. Everyone is here? Good. Gather around me, then. Closer, please. <coughs> I have something important to tell you, and... <coughs> my voice is not what it once was. He's dying. Long ago, the Hong Moon School was known throughout the Earthen Realm. People from around the world wanted to learn our techniques, the Hong Moon Arts. I am unable to teach as many students as I once did. Only a select few have I chosen to lead down the path of Hong Moon. Our techniques are powerful, and only the compassionate and the honorable should wield them. To walk the path of Hong Moon and learn its secrets, you must act selflessly. Help those in need, uphold justice, and live with integrity. That is the path of Hong Moon. Uh, he was honorable and... What was the other thing he said? Yeah, that's, that's not me, bro. Everyone is here? Good. Gather around me, then. What the Close fuck? Law, I am on... Oh. I do not take the Hong Moon arts lightly. I will only impart the martial tome to those who are ready to follow the path. So keep training and keep treating each other well. You will all learn in time. Now, where was I? <coughs> ah, yes. Cricket, come with me, please. are not how conversations work. Could you please give me the book off the shelf? Just press F to pick it up. Oh, no, Dougie. Did it. I am entrusting this book to you. It may not seem to be of much help now, but as you gain a new level of understanding, this tome will show you new skills and techniques. Let it serve as a guide as you continue along your path. Now that you have this book to study, you are ready to train in the Hong Moon Arts. I usually give my students more personal attention, but I am not well. Young Muck is an excellent teacher. Take the book to him at the Dual Hall. Listen well, and practice hard. I know you'll make me proud, Cricket. Look, it's been 15 goddamn minutes and nothing's died. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I'm flying. I hope I'm supposed to do that, and this isn't just an unfortunate uh, glitch. Well, why did Master want to see you? He gave me a book. Why aren't you talking? The Marshall Tome is only granted students ready for more training. The book Master gave you contains all the basic Hong Moon fighting skills. You are a full member of the Hong Moon School. Thank you. Which means from this moment forward, you're a formal disciple of our clan. Congratulations, I will personally oversee your training in the martial arts. Here, you need a training weapon, go ahead and equip it. 
penetrating dagger. As he spells. Oh! Open your inventory and right click on your weapon to equip it. I want you to really, really consider this action of you giving me a weapon, bro. You don't really know what you're doing here. Let me see my dagger. I want to see my... Is, it... Is there a button to unsheath my weapon? So I can look at it? Your training begins now. I expect your full attention. You can expect whatever you want, buddy. Let us begin with the very fundamentals of martial arts. If I'm already a full student of the school, wouldn't I already know the fundamentals? Like, don't you not become a full member if you don't know the fundamentals? Like, what was the criteria to get this far? That you didn't teach me the fundamentals before now. Game, you're full of holes. Your opponent must be targeted and within range for your skills to be effective. Even the most powerful skill is worthless if it cannot reach the target. <laughs> your opponent must be targeted and within range for your skills to be effective. Even the most powerful skill is worthless if it cannot reach the target. Bro, you are just spout all the wisdom today. The basic skills of a warlock are incantation and burst. Target your opponent, and you will see the available skills at the bottom of the screen. Pressing left mouse button repeatedly uses incantation and burst in order. Keep pressing left mouse button to gain focus for other, more powerful skills. Target reticle here. How do I know what I'm targeting? Which is not a circle or anything. I'm throwing pieces of paper at you. Are you scared? You should be scared. I, I would be terrified. And then we counter to express one to block the attack with 12. This was F to read the pulse. Uh, I'm not going to retain any of this bullshit. Why did you make this complicated? one key to block an opponent's attack. If you succeed in blocking an incoming attack, use Repulse to push away the training dummy. 
You must focus in order to use these skills properly. Don't worry. Mastery will come in time. I know it's a tutorial, but still, the story's full of holes. Suck it, Void Walkers. Look what I got. I just carry death around with me. Um, you see that I already did the thing, right? Because it's right here. I summoned it. Gain focus and use the thrall ability to summon your thrall. The thrall repeatedly. Gain focus and use the thrall ability to summon your thrall. You see the okay, he's already summoned, bro? Where'd he go? Uh hey, thrall. Um. It looks like you received a letter. You had better read it. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Bro. Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press oh. the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. You had better read it. Oh my god. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. Oh my fucking god. You better read it. Would you shut the fuck up? See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. Oh my god. I'm you gonna, better read it. I'm gonna fucking punch See you. See the quest Would log you on shut the right the fuck side up? of the screen? Oh my god. Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key, or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. Mailbox is empty, bro. It looks like you've received a letter. Oh my god. You better read it. Shut the fuck up. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Oh my god. Move your cursor Shut over up. to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key, or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. Bro. I'm in the goddamn mailbox. What do you it want? It looks like oh you've received god. a letter. Shut the fuck up. You had better read it. Shut up. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Bro! Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. Mail. Right here. It looks like you've received a letter. Oh my god. You better read it. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. You had better read it. I'm gonna strangle this motherfucker. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. You had better read it. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key, or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. It looks like you've received a letter. Motherfuck. You had better read it. Motherfuck. See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key, or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. Gonna fucking deck him. All that for him to tell me to focus on my training. It looks like you've received a letter. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! See the quest log on the right side of the screen? Move your cursor. That wasn't it either? It looks like you've received a letter. Is that it? Did I fucking do the thing? Jesus fucking Christ. I just want to go murder some shit and level up and be awesome. I 
got this motherfucker who won't shut the fuck up. You got a letter on this street. I don't fucking care. Stop repeating yourself, bro. I can't read this. I don't speak video game, which is bizarre, because I've been playing them since I was four. You'd think that I would understand the language a little bit by now. You'd think I'd be goddamn fluent, but no. Simple, 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 simple. A cricket that only trains in the light will not be prepared to fight in the dark. My god, a fortune cookie wrote this game, bro. If you wish to become a true disciple of Hong Moon, go to the Proving Grounds and confront your fear. Bro, I'm not so sure that I even care to be in the Proving Grounds now. Fuck Hong Moon. I'm gonna go work for the bad guys. Huh? How about that? Where's that option? Have also, you been summoned to the Proving Grounds? If it means you're gonna shut the fuck up, yes. You've done well today, Cricket. We will continue training, but you are certainly a capable student. Why in the fuck does a warlock, a caster of demon magic, have to fucking take martial arts training? What the shit? Did you not check my resume? Your next trial will prove more challenging. All oh Hong God. Moon disciples must enter the proving grounds. The test represents the fear we all carry inside ourselves. I, I don't fucking care anymore. If you are to be a true member of the Hong Moon, Jesus you Christ. must conquer that fear. Just shut up. I will take you to the cavern, uh -huh. but you must yeah. enter alone. Okay, well, I'll be glad to. If it, if, it, if it means that I'm leaving and you won't be going where I'm going, I'm, I'm good with that. That's fine. I'm gonna get my fucking demon to rip your nuts off. Enter the proving grounds and defeat the training dummies. Not even my fucking classmates. Mind you, just more dummies. It's fine. Beautiful. I love it. Throw my paper at you, I win. You never stood a chance against my paper. Um, ow. Um, what the shit? Look, this is some bullshit. Oh my god. I, I did it. Did I win? Am I having fun yet? Master Hong must have faith in you. Take time to reflect and come back when you're ready. I, 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 I can't take more of this tutorial. I, I can't do it. I want to strangle this game in so many ways. Wow, you guys look like you get your hands full. Bye!
I'm feasting out. Fuck y'all. I gotta say, I'm not really having any fun. This feels tedious and boring as shit. What the hell now? Oh, cutscene. Wonderful. Dead things. And this guy. Uh, hey guy. I'm glad... Oh, oh Jesus. Props to you for not getting your hair fucked up while you were getting stabbed, though. We don't know who any of these people are. So this, this isn't dramatic to watch our friends die when we don't know who they are. <gasps> Gasp. I bet this is more impressive with music than sound. Ah, oh, Jesus. Dead. I want to join their side. I want to work with them. Yeah, all your students except one are dead now. Yours truly. Because I'm awesome. Alright. I'm going to do couple of quests once this shit's over and then I'm switching to New Vegas. did it now go take her staff it's probably very powerful yeah give me a job application let me shadow you guys I'll be an intern let me work for you you guys got the cool armor and they got ravens or crows birds it's bird. Speaking of birds. Hey, bird. I said bird a lot. <laughs> What's that face for? I'm sorry that there's no sound, bird. I turned the music off for, like, copyright reasons. And it's affecting the cutscenes. I'm going to do a couple more quests of this. I'm going to switch over to New Vegas. It's always good to see you, bird. Oh, I get it. He he betrayed the guy. Sold him out to these guys. gotta say I'm not super loving this game but I will give it more of a chance I probably won't be streaming it anymore past this but I will still give it a shot if I really get into the game then there's a chance I probably will stream more of it <laughs> I love it bird like rock and roll fuck yeah 
So this cutscene goes on for about an hour. <laughs> He's just trying to wreck those dudes. Just punched a lady. That's not nice. This violence against women has to stop. Unnecessarily long cutscene is unnecessarily long. I mean, seriously. Bird, do you want to come hop on the chat with me while I play New Vegas? I think I'm going to play New Vegas after this. This is eating up the time I wanted to do quests. <laughs> we must survive. Bro, then you need to practice what you preach. Oh, is it really just Obi-Wan Kenobi, this guy? Really? That seems smart. That seems like a good idea. She just killed everybody but you. And you're going to charge her, you little symbol. I thought that was the end of it when they kicked me off. That's some serious underboob there. I'm get in trouble with Twitch. I am your last best hope.
<laughs> All right, I think that's going to be it for Blade and Soul for at least today. After it's done loading, I'm going to exit out. And we're going to get into New Vegas. That took a long, frustrating time. Wow. Hey, Bird, I sent you a message on the Discord. Uh, it takes a sweet time loading, though, doesn't it? More cutscenes. Okay. What was uh? So they saved me. I'm alive. Hooray. I'm generally glad I'm alive. Are you all right? Goodness, I can't imagine what you've gone through. I'm Nam So Yu. I should tell Papa you're awake. Who? You've never heard of Captain Dochin? That's not really? What you called him. He's from the Hong Moon School, like you. He left Heaven's Reach a long time ago, but he's a legend here. He's captain of the Bamboo Guard, off battling the Black Ram. Papa is always fighting. I'm scared he won't make it back one day. Okay. So... Um, you guys are making very uncomfortable noises. Alright. No! no to stop it! Alright, so... Um, so, we're gonna go put up the BRB stream while we exit out of late play the soul. Yeah, quick game. Okay. So, we're done with that one for now. And BMO is gonna keep us occupied while we slide into some new Vegas. Like I said, I might revisit that one. I might stream it more. We'll see. Certainly. Do, 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 do. That one. Turn that one. Yeah, I kind of got that impression too. I will play it more. I promise I will. And. I'll play it for more than an hour. <laughs> oh, we gotta update the stream title. Sounds gonna cut out for just a second while I do that. Uh, let's see.
Okay, there we go. Stream up is updated. Back to Fallout! Okay, so we cleared the basement out of the Nightkin last night, and now we're going to talk to Jason about stuffs. Not my health is not great. Is there a bed I can sleep in? Need a bed? Rest, please. I sleep here. <gasps> I can sleep here. Now I'm a vampire. Thanks, Bethesda. Those uh, those night kids did a hell of a number on me. He's what? He's saying he's over here. Oh, the light was already on. Um. Okay. Well, good luck. Uh, good luck. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for showing me Blade and Soul. We will have to play that sometime. Have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. I don't want to join your stupid cult, though. I know, right? Not at all. No, it's perfectly fine. Are you behind that door, Jason? Jason. I don't want to steal. Like, Bird, I'm trying to do a good karma run-through on your Vegas. And that gets really difficult when you want to steal and kill everything. If I can't steal it, I want to kill it. If I can't kill it, I want to rob it. You know? Bird, is everything looking and sounding okay? Video and audio wise? Are you down here, Jason? Jason! Jesus Christ. Uh, who designed this fucking staircase? Yes, she says. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. I think I got crushed under the door. I did so much murder down here, bird. Oh, my word. I did not rhyme that on purpose. That was an accident, but I'll take it. You guys did a really excellent job of cleaning up all the corpses out of here. I presume. I mean, they're all gone. There's nothing down here. Oh, Jason. I'm coming to find you. Because you have a quest for me. And only the rebar club remains. Actually, let's take it. It's my rebar club now. So when it's on the floor in the basement, they don't care if I take it. If it's upstairs on the shelf, they very much care if I take it. Bird, did you see my house? I have a house. Did you see it? Do you want to see it? You want to see my house? The answer is yes, Bird. You want to see my house?
Yes, she wants to see the house. That's the correct answer. Where the fuck is Jason? You do. Okay. I will get the quest from Jason and then go outside and this we I will show you my house. Take all the things you never know. Nine millimeter rounds. That will come in handy. Ammunition. Wonderful. I'm not my friend Klaus. I don't play with no guns. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'll do that too. Don't smoke, kids. It's a shitty habit. Am I over encumbered? I'm walking real slow. I must be over encumbered. I am. It was the cigarettes, wasn't it? Why do I have two incinerators? These things are heavy. Those are 12 things each. There we go. Much better. Okay, Jason's going to need a quest, and then we'll see my house. I actually don't know what's down here. Trust shotgun. That's my fists. And that's my shotgun. This is my shotgun, bird. There are many like it. This one's mine. Without me, it is nothing. Without it, I am nothing. So I didn't come in here. It's empty. Yeah, I know. See the thing's empty and look at it anyway. Yep. Thank you, Bird. You'd be surprised how often I do that reference. Okay. Hey, Jason. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make a great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. These rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. I, I, I can't let these idiots blow themselves up, can I? I, I feel like that'd be bad for my karma. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemer's both. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Uh, 
It's moments like this I have to remind myself good karma playthrough. So you've been using Chris. It's despicable. It is the creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. I gotta get Chris to not allow this to happen. Right? Obviously? Hey. So this is Chris. He thinks he's a ghoul, but he's not. He's a human. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Uh, the Great Journey to use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Uh, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Let me back to you. Great. Let's do everything when it's convenient for you. I could just kill you, you know. Okay, Bird, I know you have to go soon, so I am going to go show you my house before you have to go. And then I'll come back here and finish this. Because my awesome house, Bird. Map. So, I had never really played this game before. I had it on my Xbox, but then my Xbox broke and I couldn't finish it and I had only just started. And uh, I, I picked it up on Steam. This is the Ultimate Edition. It's got the DLC. So I couldn't wait to get a house to hold all my stuff. And I was having a hard time finding one. And I got impatient. And I, had, I was pretty adamant that I wasn't going to use any mods. Uh, on the game. Like, I wanted to experience the game as it was before I used mods. And I, br I broke down and I installed one mod. Uh, it's called Heavy Bunker. And it, push it puts a bunker in the game that you can use as a house. Uh, you've seen it on the scroll there. Exclamation point bunker. We'll give you the name of the person that made it. And a link to it. Oops. And here it is. Hidden bunker right here. And if you have it installed, you can fast travel right to it. Hidden bunker. Okay, so the hidden bunker is my home. And it is awesome. Are they fe feasting? There was some of Kaisar's Legion has been camping outside my door. Look at all that. I don't know where they are. Where they go? They've been like hanging around, trying to kill me, and I keep ignoring them. <laughs> so here's home. Let's see, we got a uh, got a workbench right here. Craft and repair items. This all came in that you can even upgrade it somehow. I'm gonna hang up my tools. Oh, cool. Sortomatic. Oh, yeah, he has these put in here too that it will automatically sort what you have into the containers. So, like, if I told it to, then he would put the casings and the primer in their respective cases. Yeah, like, what do you want to put in there? Exit. Thank you. So, little kind of little workshop area here. Oh, you could, yeah, listen. Oh, yeah. 
No, I keep the radio turned off for uh, copyright reasons, thank you. And here we have lockers, like you can store different armors. Nice. Right? Got uh, more lockers. You can store your armor. It's like an armory, obviously. And coming through. Coming here. And he's got this. The proto life like the prototype life pod. Where you can do different things like change your gender. Uh health regeneration. I'm not sure what they all do. Leave the machine alone. I'm comfortable with who I am. Thank you. Medical cabinet. You can store your stim packs, I guess. First aid kits for obvious reasons. We got a fridge. Because why not? Uh, we got. I even got one of those things. What do you think so far, bird? You like this? We can play. We can play poker. Play poker? Let's play poker. Oh, you can cook your food here on the stove? I just got a bucket. I got a sweet bucket, bird. Now, what I had noticed the first the first time I was here was where the bedroom was. There's no beds, right? Did you notice that? I sure did. Oh, you come through here and it's just a little pantry. It's got different things. Wooden crates to hold more stuff. Um, but then you come in here and there's just, this is the garden. You can plant seeds and grow shit if you want to. I do have some seeds. I don't know how to plant them. I'll figure it out. So that's all good. But there wasn't a bed. Wait, how do I sleep? Oh, oh, weapon storage. I forgot about that. So I had to look around and I was going to get frustrated, but then I saw this. It's a cot, and you hit this toggle cot, and it comes out, and you can sleep on it. And then you hit it again, and it goes back up. I got extra beds so all my friends could come have a sleepover. And that is the hidden bunker mod that you can get. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the link in the description below of where to get the uh, the mod. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't do what I came here to do. Um. Jesus. Other than show bird my awesome house. Let's uh, see here. Uh, one of these rooms has. Was it? It wasn't the bedroom. Shit. Okay. Uh, was it here? Yeah, it was this. Um, rather than sort everything out, I just keep it all in one place. I could just unload all that shit. A hollow tip gauge. Oh. Yeah, that's not the ammo, that's the Weapons. I try not to carry two guns that take the same ammo because it's redundant. Uh, 10 millimeters or so. 40 millimeter or so. 
They both take the same. There we go. Now we're only we carry about half of what we can carry. Perfect. It is a cute space to for cut. Like, don't you like want one of those in your house? Oh, we can close the door. Close the door. We were not raised in a barn, probably. I was raised in a vault on the ground. I presume. And now we're going up to the reptile site. It doesn't help that the bunker exists a short distance from a town where I'm vilified. Again with the fists. Why? I can't run. This is as fast as I choose to walk, apparently. Hang on a second, man. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on one second. You know what? Like, oh, it's back door did not show up on the fast travel. Put the gun away. Let's hope we don't need it, huh? So we have to go upstairs. Did I put the wrong shotgun in the thing? Because it looks like that's what I did. It is a pretty swanky looking pistol though. I think this, uh, the person that made this mod uh, did a really excellent job and I'm really happy about it. I generally don't even use mods when I play games, honestly. I except for like Warcraft. But I'm happy I got that one. Let's go talk to Chris. I think I obviously have to not allow them to take off. This is a horrible idea. They're gonna get killed. Oh. Wrong room. Sorry. I'm just glad those fucking night can aren't here still killing me. Jesus. That bullshit was getting old. I actually have decided I'm not playing Fallout 4. I own Fallout 4. I have all the DLC for Fallout 4, but I'm not playing Fallout 4 until I finish this. Hello, Chris. Hey, are you ready to get started? Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. Okay. As I said before, I need an intact shielded container of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. I'll get the thrust control modules. All right. Anything else?
Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Later. So, we have to go to the thing and get the thing. Got it. I'm on it. I got this shit. Where in the map am I? Okay. I can remember that. Okay, so we'll go to Novak and just head north a little bit. I'm neutral in Novak. They don't really have an opinion about me. They don't even guess that I'm a eight, you know? Traders. Howdy. Hi. I'm jumping. Okay. I really should just do like some kind of big mega stream and just sit down for six hours and stream this. <laughs> it makes a serious headache. That's what I should do. That'd be a fun afternoon, huh? Okay, he might not necessarily be the Gibson Scrapyard. And... What a dog. Give me a dog. Also, isn't it a little overdone to have a scrapyard and two, do two guard dogs? I mean, that's kind of a little on the nose, isn't it? Actually, this has been bothering me. I gotta fix this. Um, see, that's supposed to be up in the corner. And that's supposed to be with it. Isn't that better? I think that's so much better. It's been bugging me. Alright, um, another dog, Reyna? Oh, good lord, is he dead? Where is he? Is he sleeping? Bro, what time is it? Oh, no, what time is it? Tell me what time it is. It's okay, 10.30 p.m., fine. Old Lady Gibson. Give me a dog. Hi there, I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon and Setback? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Speech, speech, but you're going to cut the price to 250 because I'm just that charming, right? <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, well, that was easy. God, radio, nope. Turn off the radio. We get in trouble.
Yeah, it's just right here. I don't even get the chance to fuck up the parts I'm about to give them. Hey there. Please let me convince them not to do this. Have you found the components we discussed? Yep, sure did. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. I don't want to do this. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Later. Okay. He had two tasks. I, f I figured that whatever what one I was doing, that he would do the other one. So I took the one I thought I could sabotage. Because I'm a nice guy. Hey lady, I know you just went back to sleep after I just woke you up, but, uh, waking you up again. Why wouldn't the game just give me both tasks at once? So, you're back! Now, where did we leave off? Oh, wait, um... Take Hang on. How many caps do I have? I honestly don't know. One hundred thirty-one caps. I hope that's enough. Lady, wake up, lady. Jesus Christ. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Certainly did. Hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage and what'd kill you. I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. Then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one, he was. Take care now. So, we're gonna go see uh, Clark Gibson. I'm neutral at Ranger Station, Charlie, so I think they won't attack me if I go there. You gotta fast travel uh, carefully, kids. Uh-oh. I... I'm gonna let you guys work out your own shit. I'm not getting involved. Oh, Jesus. It's rads, though. I've often thought about doing a Fallout playthrough where I just get exposed to as much rads as I can. <laughs> what kind of deformed superhuman could I become if I embrace the rads? Am I going the long way around here? Okay, going walking. It's the best part of my day.
Oh, Jesus. It's... Get me out of here. I don't want your ads. I guess I'm killing this gecko. I guess that's happening. You walk like an idiot. Got him. Okay, bird. That's fine. Thank you for hanging out and everything. Have a good night. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow, probably. I presume. I hope we can Warframe again soon. I think I'm going to end the stream after I turn this quest in anyway. Wait. I don't remember there being two of you on top of each other. So I'm only going to go a few more minutes, I think. It's been about an even two hours. But that does count the bullshit at the start, though. Have you found the components we discussed? I found the entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact, or you'd be dead by now. Uh, can the launch wait a few minutes? Very few. Time is wasting. Hurry back so we can begin. It is almost time for the great journey. Uh, what do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why don't they let you work on the... Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversom won't mind getting irradiated. Haversom won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversom won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. You left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster! A monster! Uh, Jason told me himself the great journey is for ghouls only. You're not going. Oh, God! You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Yep. Oh, no! How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them! Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke! Uh... What's... what's the good option here? If it's... if they ride the rockets, they're gonna die, right? 
but it's murder if he fucks with him? Uh, God damn it. There's only a bad choice here. Sigh. That'd be murder, Chris, and you're no murderer. Why do you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. It's not a matter of smarts. You'd never forgive yourself. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away. They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're going to revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. It's not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? It's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. It is almost time for the great journey! The rockets were set to go, right? Yes! I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Here we go. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. I would have taken Chris with me as an adventurer, though. Absolutely would have. Are they going to take off? I love these ghouls in their little spacesuits. Come on, this would be a great end of the stream to watch them take these rockets off. They're gonna start boarding, right? No? What's that map marker added? Was, was that his vault? I said it was northwest. That's the east. I thought it was going to send me to Fault 34. There it is. That's not Northwest, bro. Hey. 
Is this it? They just do this? They don't take off? Hey. I'm very disappointed that this is the end. It's like watching ants in a colony. Hey, 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 hey. They all talk with like one of two voices. Hey. All right. Call it there. And like I said, thank you. Um, for anybody that, for, all, for Alto, 2 bit, Bird, and everybody else that was here, thank you for being here. Uh, as always, you can find me on Twitter and rewatch all my streams on YouTube. Um, excuse me. And like I said, I will put a link in the description to the bunker mod. Uh, and I will name the wonderful person that made it. Um, I can't immediately remember. Um, hang on. I can hit my own command. Nomadic uh, is his name. And I will put a link up where you can download his mod. So uh, that's it for me. Have a good night. Thank you.